excuse me, she just exciting like my comics. I'm a Viking, black Goliath, Bush. Welcome back, fellow knowledge seekers. It's my comics busting through your speakers. It's a takeover! And I'm your host, L to the P, and these comics can't see me. Before we begin, please hit that subscribe bell and button for those future videos from my comics. Next is our salute to up and coming black comic creators. Them boys is putting in work. Them boys is putting in work. The link to their comics will be in the description box. Don't be afraid to show some love. Alright, let's get back into the video. This is part three of our black superhero series. But first, I have a question for you. Who is the first African American black superhero? A. Luke Cage B. Storm C. Black Lightning D. Monica Rambo or E. None of the above If you chose E. None of the above, you are correct. The first black superhero was created by King Feature Syndicate and his name was Lothar. His first appearance was in Mandrake the Magician in 1934 which was a comic strip, not a comic book. His nationality was African and some of his aliases were Lothar, Prince of the Seven Nation and strongest man in the world. He was skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and was a master of stealth. His powers included super strength. He could lift up to seven tons, be invulnerable to any weapon made by man, possessed superhuman stamina, and was impervious to heat and cold. Let's discuss his backstory. Lothar is one of the first black crime fighting heroes to ever appear in history, appearing alongside Mandrake the Magician in his inaugural strip of July 1934. He is the first black character to be treated with respect instead of the degrading images that came before him, although he was once referred to as Mandrake's giant black slave in a 1935 work by King Feature Syndicate. In the beginning, Lothar was first being portrayed as wearing small shorts, a red fez, and leopard skin. He spoke very poor English and was there more for his muscle than his mind. Often credited by Mandrake as being strongest man in the world, Lothar could live up to this title. He first met Mandrake when the magician was traveling through Africa. Lothar was the prince of the seven nations, a great union of tribes. He gave up a chance to be king to travel the globe with Mandrake, fighting all evil in all its forms. He was modernized in 1965 by artist Fred Fredericks, gaining a change in clothes to now a leopard skin shirt and spoke correct English. It was now that he was portrayed more as Mandrake's friend, partner, and equal than as a simple manservant. They are one of, if not the first, interracial crime fighting teams. This video was sponsored by the Black Comic Book Historians. Charles Hazleton III, can I get a song? Bring that outro!